Whoever the two EMTs were that delivered a baby Monday night on a south side of Youngstown Bridge, the mother wants to meet you and thank you. The birth of little Eliza Bennett happened so fast. One moment the mother was pregnant, the next the baby was born right in the back of an ambulance. 33-year-old Letitia Bennett sat this evening with her five kids on the couch of their camel home, while child number six, two-day-old Eliza, slept soundly in her baby swing. All of a sudden, water just started gushing down. And I called him, I said, babe, it's time. Before gathering the kids, Letitia recalled Eliza's birth late on Monday night, how it began with her water breaking as her husband, Trinnell, was in the shower. So I cut the shower water off, asked my wife what's wrong. She said, it's time to go. But Letitia knew the baby was coming fast. She called her mom, who called Camel Police, who dispatched an ambulance. We scrambled around and I took her out to the ambulance and told them I'd be in the car behind them. By the time they reached the Center Street Bridge, three miles from their house, on the way to St. Elizabeth Hospital, Letitia knew they weren't going to make it. And I said, she's coming. I mean, I felt her right there. <laughs> I said, she's coming. When they reached the Shirley Road Bridge over Interstate 680, the EMT caring for Letitia told the driver to pull over on the bridge. And so he pulled over and um, he said, one good push, honey. I pushed one good time and she was out. As I was pulling up, the man was coming from the back door and he was clapping and he told me to come here. And I, I walked up and he said, meet your daughter. For the birth of their other kids, Trinnell took his wife by car and was prepared to do the same this time. The decision to call an ambulance, though, was a blessing. Trained medical personnel were there to help. If he would have taken me to the hospital like he would normally do, I don't know how this would have ended. She credits the two EMTs for saving her daughter's life. She has no idea who they were or what ambulance company they worked for, but would like to meet them. Oh my God, I would like to meet them, thank them. I even got them some cards. Now I did call around today trying to find the ambulance company and the two EMTs who delivered Eliza. I left a lot of messages but couldn't find out. Letitia spent last night in the hospital, came home this afternoon. Both mother and baby are doing just fine.